Hi, my name's Andy James, and welcome to this DVD in which we're going to be looking at extreme metal pentatonic licks. In this DVD, we're going to be looking at how to spice up the five note pentatonic scale by using techniques such as alternate picking, legato, and tapping. Um, so grab your guitars and let's get started. Okay, for this first section of the DVD, we're just going to be looking at the basics of the five note pentatonic scale, uh, and it's also in five positions as well. So we're going to do this in A minor, and we're going to start on the fifth fret on the low E, and uh, this is the first shape. Okay, first off, we're going to start on the low E string on the 5th fret. Then we're going to play the 8th fret on the low E. Then move to the A string and play 5, 7. Same on the D. Same on the G. Then 5, 8 on the B string. And then the same on the high E string. And then uh, to come back down the opposite way, you just play the same notes on the way down. Okay, here's position number two. Okay, starting this uh, on the low E string on the eighth fret, then we're gonna play the tenth fret. Then move to the A string and play seven and 10. Same on the D string. Then move to the G and play 7 and 9. Then 8, 10 on the B and the high E string. Then the same coming down. Okay, now for position 3. Okay, to start this one off, um, we're going to start on the 10th fret on the low E and play 10, 12. Same on the A. And the same on the D. Then when we get to the G string, we're just going to play 9 and then 12. Then uh, 10 and 13 on the B. And finish up, we're going to play uh, 10, 12 on the high E. And then back down the same way. Okay, now position four. Okay, this is actually uh, similar to position one, uh, but we're starting this one on the 12th fret on the low E, and then play 15. Same on the A string. Then 12, 14 for the D and the G. 13, 15 on the B, and then 12, 15 on the high E, and then play the same coming down. Okay, now for position number five, uh, we're starting this on the 15th fret on the low E, and it looks like this. Okay, so we've got 15, 17 on the low E and the A. Then 14, 17 across the D and the G string. And then back where we started on 15 and 17 on the B and the high E. And then the same coming down. Okay, now we're going to take those five positions and uh, we're just going to look at groups of two strings for now. Um, the first two are going to be the low E and the A string and uh, we're just going to take a simple pattern and then we're going to move it up and down the neck um, in, through the five positions. So um, here's the pattern and then we'll break it down. Okay, so starting on the 5th fret on the low E, this is the first position. 
and uh, we're going to play 5, 8 on the low E, then 5, 7, 5 on the A, then we're going to have 8, 5, 8 on the low E. Okay, now picking for this, um, we're going to play uh, a downstroke on the 5th fret on the low E, then hammer on the 8th fret. Then we're going to have an up, down, up on the A string. Then we're going to have a downstroke on the 8th fret on the E, pull off to 5, and then hammer on back on the 8. So. Okay, try that a little bit faster. Okay, we'll try that a little bit faster. Um, the aim really is to kind of get it as fast as you can get it, um, but just keep it nice and clean. And then as you get more um, confident with playing it, then we can start moving it up through the uh, positions. So... Um Okay, and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be taking that pattern and moving it through the first five notes of each position um, that we looked at. So a slow tempo will look like this. Okay, so a little bit quicker. and up to speed. Okay, if you can get some uh, palm muting in there as well, that can kind of uh, separate the notes a lot more and uh, give it more of a percussive feel, um, which is definitely kind of what you want to achieve, um, playing more of a metal style. So uh, let me just play that again, really accent in the palm muting with the right hand. Okay, now we're going to take that pattern and move it to the next group of strings, which will be the D and the G string. Um, still starting on the first position shape, we're going to have this for the first one. Okay, so this is uh, 5, 7 on the D, 5, 7 on the G. So um, we're pretty much going to be moving again um, through the middle of each of the pentatonic shapes. And um, the next one is going to look like this. Then uh, position three. Position four. And position five. Okay, when you join it up with the same pattern as the, uh, the low E and the A strings that we just looked at, it should sound like this at a slow tempo. Okay, a little bit quicker. And up to speed. Okay, for that exercise, um, it's a little harder to get the palm muting in, um, just because your palm's not near the bottom strings, so it's going to sound a little bit more open. Um, but uh, the difference between the low strings and the mid strings the, with the palm muting kind of allows for that dynamic difference. So uh, playing on the lower strings, it's nice to get the palm muting in there, but as you go um, higher, up the, higher up the guitar, um, either towards the floor or towards the body of the guitar, the dynamic changes, so it's quite nice to have that. Okay, now we're going to move to the next group of strings, which is the B and the high E string. Using the same pattern again, moving through positions 1 to 5, slow, this is what it will look like. OK, 
Okay, a little bit quicker. And up to speed. Okay, on the end there, um, there's actually a, a whole step bend on the eighth fret on the B string. Okay, so when you bend up the eighth fret on the B string, uh, just give it some vibrato on the end just to add a little bit more attitude. Okay, the idea behind practicing the pentatonics like this is uh, just to kind of isolate the actual scale and how it moves up the neck. Um, breaking it down into two string sections um, just allows you to see um, in a linear fashion how it goes up the neck. Uh, and also adding the, uh, the sequence in there as well kind of makes it a bit more musical and something that you could probably um, you know, use in your everyday playing. Um, you know, also it combats, you know, boredom within learning scales, um, just makes it a bit more interesting and a bit more fun to do. Okay, for this next section we're going to look at building speed in the left hand. Um, we're not really going to be worrying too much about the right hand for now. Um, we're just going to kind of look at some fairly musical and usable ideas um, for the left hand using pentatonics. So uh, this first idea is going to be um, a first position E minor pentatonic and uh, it's just going to be using four notes. So here it is and then we'll break it down. Okay, for this pattern, uh, we're just going to be playing across the 15th and 12th frets on the high E and the B string. Uh, the first two notes we're going to play, and then the next two notes we're going to hammer on and pull off. So uh, it starts with a down stroke, we're going to have down, up. Then we're going to hammer on 15 on the B, pull off to 12 on the B. Okay, so this is just the basic shape, so we'll just get used to playing that over and over. So at a slow tempo, it should sound like this. Okay, as you speed this lick up, um, your kind of picking motion changes a little bit. And uh, instead of kind of moving your whole hand, you're just literally going to use your first finger and thumb and you're going to push the pick like that. Okay, so that'll be your downstroke, that'll be your upstroke. And if it helps, um, you can kind of anchor one of your fingers and sort of like push down against um, the body of the guitar. Um, this is something that I do when I'm doing any kind of picking, um, just kind of keeps my hand really stable. So, it's gonna be that kind of motion. So I'll just play it a little bit quicker so you can pretty much focus more on the right hand. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, it's using your first finger and thumb to push through the string rather than um, using your whole hand. I just find for this kind of um, sort of almost snap technique, it seems to work really well with, uh, with fast playing. Okay, so to the actual lick, um, the, the pattern uh, goes like this at a slow tempo. Okay, so the first two times round, we're just going to play it normally. Then the third time round, um, we're just going to play 15, 12, 15, 12, twice on the high E. Then continue down the lick. Then play it once. Then we'll uh, do the 15, 12, 15, 12, repeat again. and then we'll have two singles on the end. So uh, here it is again, slow.
then um, you can pretty much uh, do that for an indefinite amount of time. Um, start off slow, just get used to the kind of action of the right hand picking and the left hand hammer ons and pull offs. And uh, then, you know, once you have it down, then just keep speeding it up. And then, you know, when you want to finish, it's always nice to have a note to end on. And uh, I've just chosen the 15th fret on the B string um, to bend up a whole step. If you can get the kind of G string to ring in there as well, it's quite an aggressive sound. Okay, some variations on this technique. Uh, we're going to start to move it around a little bit now. Uh, we're going to introduce uh, the 17th fret on the high E string and the 14th fret on the high E string. And uh, we, we're not going to be doing any sort of like tricky repeats or anything. It's literally going to be the same um, picking pattern. Uh, we're just going to be changing the notes. So um, here it is, and then we'll break it down. Okay, as you can see, using the same technique again. Uh, first time around, we're starting uh, first note on the 15th fret. Then we're going to stretch out with a little finger and place 17 on the high E. Same lick. Back to 15. Then 14. And then just keep repeating that. And again, you know, once you get used to it, just speed it up. Again, you can uh, end it on that 15th fret bend on the B string. Okay, uh, again, you can kind of move that uh, down a couple of strings. So we're now going to play uh, across the B and the G string. And this is kind of going to be... Um, Still in the first position E minor pentatonic, but it's going to be more of a bluesy sound. Um, but basically, we're going to play those same frets that we've just played, um, but we're going to do it across the B and the G. So this is what it will sound like. Okay, again, uh, starting on the 15th fret to the 12th fret on the B. 15 to 12 on the G, then uh, 17, 12 on the B, 15, 12 on the G, back to where we started, then 14, 12 on the B, then 15, pull off to 12 on the G. So at a slow tempo, it should sound like this. Okay, uh, if you want to be really clever with this kind of lick, um, we can use the kind of uh, syncopation that we used in the first lick that we looked at. And keeping the same order of the notes, um, that syncopation will just kind of fall naturally um, wherever it will in the lick. So at slow tempo, it'll kind of look like this. in this case it's landing on the uh, 15th fret um, every time so we've got uh, the repeat from 15 to 12 15 to 12 again so okay let's try that up to speed Okay, and then we can go back up to the high E string and the B string and try it there as well. Okay, so now we've uh, experienced what it's like to sort of um, move between two strings. And um, what we're going to do now is pretty much take the same right hand and uh, left hand pattern. Um, but we're going to be moving it all the way down um, the whole of the first position E minor. Um, so I'm just going to do the lick and then we'll break it down. So here we go. Okay, starting this on the 15th fret, uh, we're going to play 15, 12 on the high E, then 15, 12 on the B. So, then we're going to move to 17 on the high E, play the same thing again. Then 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick the first two notes, but then we're going to hammer on and pull off down to the G string across the 15th and the 12th frets. Okay, so that first part. Okay, now we're going to go to the 15th fret on the B string and then play 15, 12. Then on the G, 15, pull off to 12. Then move up to 17 on the B and then play uh, 17, 12 picked. Then we're going to play um, 15, pull off to 12 on the G. Then uh, to continue the lick, we're going to play um, 15 to 12, picking the first two notes on the B. Then we're going to come down uh, 14, 12 on the G, 14, 12 on the D. Okay, so so far slow, uh, we've got this. Okay, then we're going to start on the 14th fret on the G string and play 14, 12 picked. Then 14, 12 um, hammer on and pull off on the D. Then we're going to go to 16 on the G, then play 12. 14 to 12 on the D again. Then we're going to have 14, 12 on the G picked. Then we're going to hammer on and pull off down through the G, uh, D string, 14 to 12, and then 14 to 12 on the A. So. Okay, and for the last part of the lick, um, we're going to play 14 to 12 picked on the D string then 14 to 12 on the A, hammered on and pulled off. Then we're gonna stretch up to 17 on the D and then play 12, so picked. And then 14 to 12 on the A. Then to finish, we're just gonna pick uh, 14 and 12 on the D. Then pull off through uh, 14 to 12 on the A. Then finish on 15 on the low E and then pick the last note, which is 12. Okay, a slow tempo, it should look like this. Okay, now we're coming to the last lick in this section. Um, this time we're going to go back to the two string approach, um, but we're going to start from the first position A minor, and we're going to go all the way up to first position A minor, but on the, uh, the higher part of the neck. So here's the lick, and then we'll break it down. Okay, this lick is going to start on the 8th fret on the high E string, and we're going to play 8, 5 on the high E using the down up technique. Then we're going to play 8, pull off to 5 on the B string. So we're going to have. Then we're going to move up to the second position and play 10, 8 on the high E. Picked. Then we're going to play 10, pull off to 8 on the B. So, so far we've got this. Then we're going to play 12, 10, 12, 10 on the high E. Then 13, pull off to 10 on the B. So we're currently at third position at the moment. Then we've got uh, 10, uh, sorry, 15, 12 on the high E. Picked. And then we've got 15, pull off to 13 on the B. Then uh, we're up to fifth position, and we're going to play uh, 17, 15 twice on the high E string. Then 17, pull off to 15 on the B. So uh, to end it, we're going to be at first position again, but higher up the neck, and we're going to have this to finish. So that's going to be uh, 20, 17, then pull off 2017 on the B. Then we've got 22, 17 on the high E. 20, pull off to 17 on the B. And then bend up 20 a whole step. Okay, so slow, it should look like this.
Okay, for this next section, we're going to be looking at picking and uh, we're going to be looking at alternate picking and some of the looks are going to involve economy picking. So I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get there. Okay, this first lick is going to be in A minor and it's uh, kind of a picking pattern, a uh, six note picking pattern um, that's going to move up in octaves. So uh, here's the lick and then we'll break it down. So here we go. Okay, we're going to start this on the uh, the twelfth fret on the low E string, and um, it's a bit of a stretch. It's kind of up to you how you want to um, finger this, but I tend to just use my first three fingers, um, just because it's more comfortable for me. And we're going to start this on a downstroke, and we're going to play twelve, fifteen, seventeen on the low E. So that's going to be down, up, down, and then play the same thing on the A string but we'll be starting on the 12th fret with an upstroke. And then continue alternate picking through 15 and 17 on the A. Okay, so then repeat the lick on the A string. Then we're gonna move up and play 14, 17, 19 on the D. Okay, so so far we've got this. Then repeat the D string lick, and then play the same frets on the G string. So again, so far we've got this. Then repeat the G string lick, then move up to uh, fret 17 on the B and play 17, 20, 22. Then repeat the B string lick and then play the same frets on the high E string. Okay, so that whole ascending part slow should look like this. Okay, and then to start on a downstroke, um, we're gonna repeat 22 on the high E string, and we're just gonna do that same pattern, um, but coming down in the opposite direction. Okay, the ascending and descending parts together. Okay, here's lick number two. Okay, uh, this lick's gonna start on the 10th fret on the low E string, and um, we're just gonna be using down, up, down, up, alternate picking. And we're gonna play 10, 11, 12 on the low E. And then play uh, 10 on the A, and then come back down. And then go back all the way again to the 12th fret on the A, so up six notes. So we're going up four, coming back down, and then going up six, and ending on 12, so. Then we're gonna to move to the 12th fret on the A, and we're gonna play 12, 14, 15, then 12 on the D. Back down. Then up six to 14 on the D. Okay, so slow, it should look like this. Okay, then we're gonna repeat um, the 12th fret on the D and play 12, 13, 14, then 12 on the G. Then come back down. Then up six notes to the 14th fret on the G. So, so far we've got this. Then 
And for the last part, um, we're going to start on the 12th fret on the G, play 12, 14, 15, then skip over the B and play the 12th fret on the high E, then come back down. And then uh, as we ascend again, we're going to play 12, 14, 15 on the G, 12, 14, 15 on the B, then play 15 and then bend it up on the B string. Okay, so that whole lick slow should look like this. Okay, for the last lick in this section, we're going to split it into two parts. Uh, the first part is looking at the right hand and left hand pattern that we're going to be using. Then the second half is the whole lick from start to finish. So uh, here's the first part. Okay, um, for this particular lick, we're going to be using economy picking. Um, now basically what that is, is I'm going to be starting this lick on an upstroke. Uh, and I'll talk you through it as we're doing it. So we're starting on up, then logically it's going to be down and then up and so on. Until we change string, then what happens is we use the same stroke to change string. So when I get to the 12th fret in this lick, I'll play it with an upstroke. And then when we get to 15 on a B, there'll be an upstroke as well. And it'll kind of be like a sweet picking um, sort of action that will look like this. Okay, so starting on an upstroke on 17, Okay, so hopefully um, you can see what the right hand's doing there. Uh, now the frets for this are going to be 17, 15 and 12 on the high E, starting on an upstroke. Then uh, when we move to the G string, we're going to play the 15th fret uh, also with an upstroke and then a downstroke on 12. And with the downstroke on the 12, it naturally leads us for an upstroke um, coming back to the high E string again. So uh, the whole lick slow again should look like this. Okay, so that's the general idea of the technique we're going to be using for the next lick. Um, with the right hand picking is going to stay the same and also the left hand pattern is going to stay the same. Now what we're going to do um, is take that and we're going to move it. So uh, first off, we're going to start on the, uh, the 22nd fret on the high E string. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play through the lick and then we'll break it down. So here we go. Okay, for this lick, we're going to start on the 22nd fret on the high E string. Now, uh, when I started this lick, I did it with a downstroke, but it's up to you. You can start on an upstroke and keep the continuity going for the lick. But um, I'm going to start this on a down, and uh, we're going to have 22, uh, 19, 17. Then we're going to move to the B string and play 19, 17. Okay, now the next position, uh, we're going to move to 19 on the high E and start this with an upstroke. And this is when uh, the main bulk of the right hand technique will kick in. So we've got 19, 17, 15, starting on an upstroke. Then upstroke on the B string, play 17, downstroke on 15. Then we're going to move to 17, 15 and 12 on the high E and then 15 and 12 on the B, keeping the picking the same. Then we're going to move to uh, 15, 12 and 10 on the high E, then 12, 10 on the B. Okay, so so far at a slow tempo, this is what we've got. Okay, now we're going to move to the 15th fret on the B string and play 15, 12, 10. Then 12, 9 on the G. Then we're going to play 14, 12, 
um, 9 on the G, 12, 9 on the D, then 14, 12, 9 on the D, then 12, 10 on the A, then 14, 12, 10 on the A, then we're just, we're just going to play 12, 10, 12 to end on the low E. Okay, so slow, the whole lick should look like this. Okay, for this next section, uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, tapping type pentatonic licks. And uh, for the first one, um, we're going to be doing this in B minor. So here it is. Okay, right. Well, this is going to start in uh, fifth position. Um, so first position would be... So fifth position would be. Okay, so we're taking the first two, um, well, the first four notes actually of the fifth position, and we're just going to be tapping the 14th fret across the E and the A. So we've got five hammer on seven, tap 14 on the low E. Then do the same on the A string. So together it should sound like this. Okay, then we're just going to move that shape up in octaves. So we're going to be in the middle of the first position, B minor pentatonic, and we're going to have uh, 7 to 9 on the D and then 7 to 9 on the G, while tapping 16 across both those strings as well. Okay, so together it should sound like this. Okay, now we're into the uh, the top part of position two, and uh, we're playing 10, 12 on the B, uh, 10, 12 on the high E. And then we're just gonna tap the 19th fret as well across the same strings. Okay, so the whole thing's slow. Okay, and then when you come back down, um, you're just going to start each string with a tap and then pull off uh, to the same notes. And then repeat the same thing going up. So slow, up and down, it should look like this. Okay, um, if you're getting slightly confused with the um, positions one, two, three, etc., um, just go back to sort of um, the A minor positions that we looked at, because um, it kind of uh, it should make sense from there on. Um, we're just literally moving up um, two frets to the to the B minor position, um, so everything just kind of like shifts up. Um, so all the positions will kind of feel the same, look the same, um, but they'll just be in a different part of the neck. So. Um, on that lick, we're just literally going from fifth position, first position, second position, like that, and then down again. Okay, now for the next tapping lick. Okay, this particular tapping lick um, is gonna work really well in E minor. And we're gonna start in the first position, E minor uh, position, and play 12, 15 on the low E, and then tap 19. Then we've got 12, 17 on the A, and then tap 19 as well. So slow, it should look like this. Okay, then we're going to just move that up in octaves. So this time we're going to play 14, 17, and then 21 on the D. Then play 14, 19, 21 on the G. So together at a slow tempo, it should look like this. Okay, for the last section, we're just going to play 17, 20, and then tap 24 on the B. 
Then move to the high E string and play 17, 22, tap 24. Okay, so slow it should look like this. Okay, and then coming down, uh, we're just going to do the same uh, fretting hand positions, except we're going to start each string with a tap. Okay, so slow when you put them together, it should look like this. Okay, now for the last tapping lick in this section, um, we're literally going to be starting in first position A minor pentatonic, and we're just going to be using B and the high E string, and we're going to be moving through the first position um, A minor up to the first position A minor, um, up to the top of the neck, um, going through each position one, two, three, four, and five. So uh, here's the lick, and then we'll break it down. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start on the fifth fret on the B string, hammer onto the eighth fret, and then we're gonna tap the 10th fret on the B, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the high E, so we're gonna have. Then we're just gonna come back down the same way. Okay, so slow, it should look like this. Then uh, when you get to the 5th fret on the B where we started, we're going to slide up uh, to the first note of the 2nd position which will be 8 on the B. And then we're going to tap, uh, sorry, we're going to play 8, 10 on the B, then tap 13 on the B, then play 10, sorry, 8, 10 on the high E and then tap 12 on the high E. So we'll have... Okay, so so far we should have this. Okay, then we're going to have 10, hammer on to 13 on the B, tap 15 on the B. Then 10, 12 on the high E, tap 15 on the high E. And then come down again. Okay, so with the left hand, we're currently at third position. And uh, so far, slow, it should look like this. Okay, now we're up to fourth position. We've got 13, hammer on 15, uh, tap 17 on the B string, then 12, 15, then tap 17 on the high E as well, and then come back down. Okay, now we're up to fifth position. We're going to play 15, hammer on 17 on the B, then tap 20, and then do the same thing on high E string, and then come back down. Okay, so then we're going to get to the uh, last position, which is also the first position where we started, um, but this time we're going to be up on the 17th fret. And we're going to play 17, hammer on 20, then tap 22, and we're going to do that across the B and the high E. Then we're going to pull off from 22 to 20 to 17. Then we're just going to um, tap now on the 24th fret, and pull off to 20, pull off to 17 on the B. Then tap 24, pull off to 19, pull off to 17 on the G. Same on the D, same on the A, and then tap 24, pull off to 20, pull off to 17 on the low E. Okay, so that whole lick slow should look like this.
Okay, in this next section, we're gonna be looking at some pentatonic licks where we'll be using a legato technique. And uh, here's the first lick, so here we go. Okay, this lick is gonna be an E minor pentatonic lick, and uh, it's gonna sound pretty much like this. It's using those notes, but uh, instead we're gonna do it in a different kind of way. Uh, first off, we're gonna play 12 to 15 on the low E. Then we're going to play 12, 14, and 17 on the A string. So together we should have this. Then we're just going to move it up in octaves. So then we're going to have 14, 17 on the D. Then we're going to have 14, 16, 19 on the G. And then to finish off, we're going to have 17, 20 on the B. 17, 19, 20 on the high E. Okay, so slow, it should look like this. Okay, and then coming down, um, you do exactly the same thing, but just in the opposite direction. Okay, so together, slow, it should look like this. Okay, here's another legato pentatonic lick, which is uh, gonna sound sort of quite happy sounding over um, an E chord, and uh, it's gonna look like this. Right, this next lick is gonna start on the, uh, the low E string, five, hammer on to seven, then move to eight and play five, hammer on to 10, then we've got seven hammer on to nine on the D. Then seven hammer on to 12 on the G, pull off to seven. Then nine pull off to seven on the D. Rehammer on nine. Then seven hammer on to 12 on the G. Then we're gonna have uh, 10 to 12 on the B. Then we're gonna have uh, 10 to 15 on the high E. And then we're gonna tap 19, pull off to 15, pull off to 10. Then uh, 12, pull off to 10, slide down to seven on the B. Then we're gonna have 12, pull off to seven on the G. Nine, pull off to seven on um, the D. Slide down to five. Then we're gonna have 10, pull off to five on the A. Then we're gonna have um, seven pull off to five on the low E, and then finish on seven on the A. So that whole lick slow should look like this. Okay, here's lick number three. Okay, this is kind of more of a um, back to the kind of E minor type sound again. And we're gonna play 11 to 12 on the low E string. Then 10 to 14 on the A. Then we're gonna have um, 13 to 14 on the D. Uh, 12 to 16 on the G, back to 12. Then 14, 13, 14 on the D. 14, sorry, 12, 16 on the G. 16, 17 on the B. 15, 19 on the high E. Then tap 24. Okay, here's the ascending part slow. Okay, then coming down, uh, we're just gonna come back uh, pretty much down the way we came up, but there's a couple of slides in there. So uh, 24, pull off to 19, pull off to 15 on the high E. 16, pull off to, uh, sorry, 17, pull off to 16 on the B. Then slide to 12. 16, pull off to 12 on the G. And then 14, 13 on the D. Then slide down to 10 on the D. 14, pull off to 10 on the A then 12, 11, 12 on the bottom E. Okay, so that's slow. Okay, 
AK, uh, both ascending and descending together. Okay, now we've come to the final lick and there's gonna be quite a lot of stretching in this, so uh, I'll just demonstrate for you and then we'll break it down. Okay, uh, this is gonna work really well in uh, E minor as well. And uh, we've got three to five on the B string. Then we've got three, five, seven on the high E. Then we're just gonna pull off back down the same way. Okay, so together it should look like this. Then we're gonna slide from three to five on the B, and then hammer on eight on the B. Then we're gonna have um, five, seven, and then 10. Then we're gonna come back down. Okay, so so far we've got this. Okay, then we're going to slide from 5 up to 10 on the B, then hammer on 12 on the B, and then we've got 10, 12, 15, 12, 10 on the high E, and then 12 pull off to 10 on the B. So, so far slow, we've got this. Then for the last position, we're going to slide from 10 to 15 on the B, hammer on 17 on the B, then we're just going to finish up by playing 15, 17, 19, and then tap 24 on the high E. Okay, so that whole lick slow should look like this. Okay, well unfortunately we've come to the end of the DVD. Uh, just as a quick recap, we've looked at the five positions of the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, we've looked at building speed in the left hand, alternate picking, economy picking, uh, tapping, and last of all, legato. Now just take each of these licks and learn them slow, and when you get more comfortable, just speed them up and hopefully include them in your own playing. Also, there's a backing track available on the DVD that you can trial these ideas out on. So uh, until next time, I'll see you later.